Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, I'm going to show you that how you can separate an object from its background. Now here you can see that this is the image of a person on a black surface. Now this is just a separated image that is this object is separated from its background. And if we talk about the original image, then this was the original image of the person uh, on a sky background which I have manipulated and separated the object that is this whole person out of it and generated this kind of an image. Now this image can be placed on any of the background and this is exactly what we are going to learn in today's After Effects tutorial. First of all, uh, you got to create a new composition. So for that, press Ctrl N and uh, I'm going to name it as Rotoscope. Just press OK. Then uh, what you got to do is just import the file from where you want your background to be separated. Then press S to bring up the scale properties and scale it down so that it fits your area of visibility. So uh, this is what I'm happy with. Now what I'm going to do is uh, just double click on this image but before that I'm just going to rename it to man then uh, double click on this image. Now as soon as you do that you will see that a new layer is there in front of you. Increase this area because it is the only area in which we are going to work as of now. So if you want you can just increase the zoom percentage as per your wish. Now. Uh, Go to this toolbar and select this roto brush tool. Now as soon as you do that you will see this kind of a brush in front of you. So just drag this brush all over the area of your object which you want to select just like this. Now you can see that some of the selections have been made uh, like this which is not a perfect selection. Uh, so obviously we have to manipulate it once again. So uh, before that we are going to just uh, make a full selection. So again just go to your roto brush tool and select the areas. So you can just see that some of the areas of your image have been selected and if you want you can just zoom in for a better accuracy. Uh, and uh, you may have noticed that there is a pink boundary all over the place and if you want to just change the color of your boundary then you can just go here which is alpha boundary or the overlay color and a color panel would be open and from here you can just change the boundary of your color to uh, a shade that is more visible to the eyes and complements with the background of your image or the part where you want to select it. Now I have chosen this red color and make sure to just cover up all the areas like this. Now the reason I have chosen this particular image for uh, rotoscoping is that as you can see that in this image these are these few strands that are visible. So um, a roto brush's true feature would be shown over here when we would be able to even select those strands from this image. So for, uh, I will show its tutorial as well but uh, first of all we have to just select all the parts of the image as precisely as possible.
Now, once you uh, are sure that uh, all of your image has been selected, you got to review it once again to find some of the paths over there. Like here, this hand is not selected properly. So just select it. All right. And here is some of the portion of the shirt that is left. So, so you got to make sure that all of your image has been selected properly. And uh, once you have done with your selection, you can just preview your image once again. Now here you can see that uh, this lace of this shoe is left. So for that, go to this uh, roto brush tool and press Alt W and a refine edge tool would be selected in front of you. Then just drag your refine edge tool over this lace of the shoe. And after some time processing, you can see that it is selected, but it is uh, visible like this. So what you got to do is just click on this toggle refine edge x-ray. And after some processing, you will see that uh, even this is selected. And this is exactly what is the work of this refine edge tool. It is going to select all those tiny edges like these strands of this uh, shots of this man um, with utmost accuracy so just drag your brush on the areas where you want to select just like this and after some processing you will be uh, able to see that these have been selected as well if you want you can just uh, go to toggle alpha overlay mode and you will see that the things that are marked with the red color are the ones that are not selected and the one in their original colors are the ones that are selected so it will give you a better view of your image as well then now you can just grab onto your hand tool and just preview the parts of your image once again then this thumb is not selected so i'm just going to select it once again now you can see that there is some of the problem with the hair so just drag your brush all over it once again All right, now you can just review your image for one final time. So here is some part of the image that is in red color. So just select it as well. That's exactly what you need to do for the rotoscoping process. That is you have to just move over your image again and again and make sure that all the parts of the image are selected. And if there are very tiny parts, then you can of course grab on to the refine edge tool instead of the roto brush tool. To even select those parts of the image all right now uh, one final time review all right so everything looks perfect except for the fact that over here uh, you can see that some of the extra area is selected so for that what we are going to do is just go to this roto brush tool again and uh, just drag it over by pressing on the alt Now you must have noticed that as soon as we pressed the alt key, the sign changed from plus to a um, minus. This is a green plus sign and as soon as we press this alt key, it will change into a red minus sign. That means that uh, this is the tool that is uh, used to subtract the area. So just press on this um, Alt key and deselect the area that you want. Now, once you are satisfied with your image, you can just uh, change its zoom percentage back to a fit and close this layer. And after some processing, when you are on your uh, final composition, you can see that uh, it is the only object that is visible in your composition. Now, if you want, you can just um, import any other image. So, I have got this uh, image. Uh, which is uh, like this. I have imported this image onto my composition and you can just right click on this image, go to transform and select fit to comp. Now, if you just uh, make this man visible over here, then it looks like that this man is jumping over a grass field. And if you want, you can also adjust its dimensions a little bit for a more clearer look like this.
all right now this is what we have got we have separated the object from its background and placed it on another background so this is what the technique of rotoscoping is and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial and for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye